They kept slipping through my fingers. I need to find some other way to catch a fly. It looks like it would take two to open that door. I would need to find an escape companion. bit more strength and I would be able to do that. felt better, but still not at full health. Welcome to commissary, may I? Oh, hey, look what the Yarble Snoops drug in. Serves you right, boy. You could have saved me, but now you're trapped here in the kingdom of the flying rocks, just like the rest of us. <laughs> well, adiosis, kid. You can take that silky cape and feathered hat and... Hey, is that a crown on your gourd? Are you kidding me? King Edward gave the throne to a spineless jitterbug? He never would have abandoned me. I was down, kid, and you punched me right in the majesticles. I, just, I, I have no words. No, but... You stole my money. And another thing! I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do look crooked behind these bars, but the only thing criminal around here are these prices. And today only, I have a special deal just for boot washers like you. Selected items are half price, times four. Hola! Can I see the merchandise? Metal eating sticks from my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Eh, come and see me when your pockets are full of more riches. The last bowl of porridge, spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Boy, you just don't have enough. Ooh, stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mix-in for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. Uh, come back when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. So, I just have to ask. I'm sorry, I don't speak jitterbug. How's business treating you? It's quite hard to find rare and miraculous ingredients in this cell, but I make and do. Goodbye. Outre voyeur. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. 
I have bested many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Contraband is frowned upon. I'll need to hide this. I can't get caught with that. Get that out of here. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. It's not worth getting caught for. They kept slipping through my fingers. It's not worth getting caught for. It's not worth getting Good work. Not too shabby. Could use a few more strategically placed barbs, but who am I to complain? All right, Graham. Stand back. Which one you want me to take out first? <laughs> that one! Take that! <laughs> Come here, you little pile of gravel. Reach your hand in here so I can cut it off! Okay. What was that, guard? Oh, nothing. I went to bed with a heavy heart. Everyone was relying on me, and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. That morning, a stale smell hung in the air. I knew Bramble and Mr. Fancy Case. <laughs> Dinner is served. <sighs> this looks like an excellent hiding place. I don't think he'll be a bother anymore.
You did good, Graham. Yeah, but there's two goblins left. Oh, I know. And for some reason, they won't come near the bars anymore. Do you blame them? Go find me a long handle for this blade. Let's see them hide from that. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Ever hear of killing them with kindness? Kindness? Huh. Never heard of that weapon. What are you buying? Ooh, stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mixin' for fixin' everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. You got yourself a deal. I procured the only bottle of medicine in that prison. But who should I give it to? Goodbye. Bye-bye, and hopefully buy more. Graham, uh, about Bramble, do you know why she's sick? Yeah, the conditions down here are terrible. Uh, no, Graham. Um, she's pregnant. We're expecting. Oh, I, I had no idea. Congratulations. Well, congratulate me after you bring us medicine. What? See ya. Sometimes there is no right answer, but that doesn't mean there's a wrong one either. Oh, little Boo, our king has brought you some nectar of the gods. Thanks, Gram. Whatever was in that bottle worked. I instantly feel better. You're welcome. How do you feel now? Uh, much better. And the baby feels better too. Very kind-hearted of you, Graham. Our family thanks you. It's a wee bit cold, though. Well, there's a furnace back there. Uh, Graham, do you think you could bring us some wood? Perhaps if we get a fire going, we can do a little prison bacon. I might be able to scrounge together a batch of sweetie cakes if you can find me flour. Oh, great idea, Bramble. That's thinking from the heart. Perhaps the guards would take a loving bribe and let us out of here. I can't believe you actually found flour down here. Nice work. Can't wait for those sweetie cakes. Well, I'll still need wood for that furnace to bake them. I'll keep looking. Yay! 
this. How are you feeling? Is that a joke? Poor King, you're not very in touch with your subject's demands. Can I take a look around your cell? Sure. Is this a prison or a museum? Someone needs to have an intervention with these goblin hoarders. What's that stump for? We dug out a hole in it for a makeshift cauldron. Crafty. Adieu. Yeesh. Really? Yes. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Hello. How are you feeling? I could eat. Goodbye. So long. You didn't waste it on that. There were more mattresses there than people in Daventry. I wondered where they got them all. Do 
I knew fairy tales were unlikely to come true. However, sometimes you can't find a romantic heart. That goblin so desperately wanted to find its prince. Most, if I was a little bit. I'm so paying it. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I'm too weak to make it to you. We only accept food. A large metal. Is it wrong that this is the most relaxed? I see how that's gonna work what am I supposed to do with that Perfect. Wendy, let's get to work. Oh, I think this can all be solved with a little pie. 
And in the absence of pie, these prison sweetie cakes should work wonders for goblin relations. Well, hello, little friends. Who would like to sample these treats? Get them while they're hot. <laughs> Nobody has ever turned down my sweetie cakes before. Mmm. Mmm. Look, I'm eating it. It's good. Well, kindness isn't exactly killing them. Graham, I have a new plan. Compassion for my wife outweighs compassion for my enemies. Find me some chunder blossoms, please. They tend to grow in this region. What's a chunder blossom do? Well, we'll mix it in with the sweetie cakes. It'll twist those goblins' stomachs into quite a pretzel. I'm not sure I like this idea. Desperate times call for desperate measuring cups. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. Here, Gram, you'll take it. I feel better already. Thank you, King. <laughs> Eyes of flies! Huh? I thought you said you felt better. The eye of a fly! Don't you see? That's the missing ingredient. A uh, potion? Are you... Are you... Are you... Is it for teleportation at random? Does it summon a storm that follows you? Will it make you transform into a cat? <laughs> <clears throat> Apologies. Been working on that. Cat, will this potion make you turn into a clawed feline? Oh, it's nothing special. Just weed killer. We think we can ride away these roots to escape. Bring us the eye of a fly, boy, and keep up with the treats. Hmm. Yeah, I would have taken the other path. Is this story about your choices or mine? 